guys, welcome back to the channel. It is December 26th and I am filming a little testing sort of video for you guys. So I struggle a ton with finding the correct shampoo and conditioner for me. I really just, if I find a conditioner or shampoo that works and keeps my hair soft, then I get a lot of dandruff. Or if I find one that works for my dandruff, then the actual hair strands are really, really dry. So I finally caved a while ago and ordered a kit from the website called Strands and they make you custom hair care. So the kit finally came in today and I basically what their website does is you test out, you send them a hair follicle or hair strand and they test it out and they try to make a formula specifically to your hair. Um, I like that better than the ones where you just take like a little quiz online. Um, because they actually study it with like scientific things to s figure out what your hair needs. So I'm going to try it out and see if I can get things to work better for me. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily Harless. I am a junior at a small college in Indiana called Ball State University. Video making is my passion and if you guys could like, comment, or subscribe on this video, it would mean a lot to me as seeing my subscriber count grow continues to inspire me to make videos. But, as mentioned, it is December 26, 2020 and I'm going to break open this test kit if possible so I can start trying to figure out what's going on with my hair. So what you do first, they send you this little like test kit thingy and it tells you what to do like, hello beautiful, welcome to the future of hair care. Um, use this test kit after your last hair wash once your hair and scalp are completely dry. So actually I can't use this until this evening but I will show you guys what's in the kit. Um, then you have to log in and create an account and activate your kit. Like I said, I'm going to shower tonight because I work tonight, um, but I will show you guys how I do all this either tonight or like tomorrow once my hair is dry. Okay, so my hair is clean now and dried after its most recent thing, which is of course what the test kit tells you to do. Um, I just went onto the strands website and activated my kit so yeah now i'm just gonna start kind of answering some questions and essentially doing what their test tells me to do um and then doing the things that come in the test kit when i need to okay so i already answered my age is 20 to 25 my natural hair type is straight my hair is shoulder length What you did not just see was I just entered my zip code because I do think they factor in like the environment and the weather and stuff. Literally like environmental factors. Okay, so finally we're to the first thing that's actually part of the test kit, which is the scalp sebum test. So basically it's testing my scalp's oiliness level. So what I do is I take this little thing out of my kit and then take the first strip. Moderately press it onto the scalp as shown above for about 10 seconds. So that's what it looks like. Here, I'm gonna try to get to focus on it. There we go. So that's what it came up with. And comparing that to the strip that's on the back of this card, slightly oily, but a little bit more to the normal side. Now I get to choose my scent. There are four scent cards that came, so I get to choose which ones I want. The first one I'm gonna smell is called Escape. It's pretty good. Ooh, I do like that one. Then we have Serenity, which is supposed to be like relaxing, let your body live again. Lemongrass and orange. Timeless is supposed to be like shotgun in a classic convertible. <laughs> Elegance is supposed to be like light linen. I think I'm going to go with Serenity as my scent. You can also choose to go fragrance free if you want to. Where will I collect my hair sample from? Because we do send in a little baggie with a big old clump of hair and they have a reference picture on here like that's roughly how much hair you send them so it's a ton of hair. Um, I'm probably going to collect it from my brush 
All right, I have two hairbrushes I use. This is one I use when my hair is dry. This is one I usually use when I'm right out of the shower. So I'm gonna collect a little bit from both brushes. Okay, so there's my little hair sample that I'm going to send back to them. It's a ton of hair. And they do, if you guys are wondering what they do with the hair, they keep it for two weeks after your first formula just um, so they can make sure that everything's right and if they have to retest things, more just like a thing on their part, like sort of security purpose thing. And then they donate it to a company that makes hair mats to sop up pollution from the ocean. So I think that's pretty neat. They do not do DNA testing whatsoever on your hair. So yeah, all right, it's sealed up. All I have to do is fill out my envelope. It'll get shipped to them, obviously. I'll go drop it off in a post office box and they will send me a confirmation email once they get it, which I will obviously film that I got it so you guys know when I'm getting it. This is the 28th and I'm going to either drop it off in the box later today or tomorrow on the 29th and then we will see when they get it and when my product should arrive. Okay, so it is now the 12th and I just got emailed this morning with my hair test results. Um, so I think it was the fifth or sixth when they actually like got the hair sample there and then the next day they started the analysis of it. So I finally got my email portal that tells me kind of exactly what they found and I wanna share it with you guys. Scalp sebum, they put me on slightly oily, um, which is what, you know, I put anyway for myself when I did the test kit. Essentially, it talks about like, it, I can be thin and fragile hair. Um, overall, protein, I was at an 8.5. Microscopic, I was at a 10, so my overall score was 8.7. So this is what's in my shampoo that they made for me. The ingredients are walnut leaf extract. Um, it's rich in tannins, car carotenoids, and flavonoids. It gives sun protection. We have cinnamidopropyltrimonium chloride. Prevents sun damage, and it's great for untreated and dyed hair, which I do have like a balayage, so that's good. Avocado oil for giving vitamins A, B, D, and E. It nourishes, good conditioner. Jasmine extract to boost shine and soften. Rice protein to fortify hair and nourish my hair and helps add body. And jojoba seed oil, which coats it for protection and also improves shine. Hey, so my package came in today. It is the 21st of January, so it is finally here. And I'm gonna open it and kind of see what all it comes with. All right, so when you open it, the first thing is my little report. All right, so this is what the box looks like. So this is the little shampoo bottle. They're very aesthetically pleasing and cute as well. It even says on there like four Emily H. And then there is the conditioner one. Then I believe in here, it comes with two little pumps to put in there. So I'm gonna put those in really quick. Okay, the little bottles are definitely a little bit smaller than I thought, but I also wash my hair probably every three days. I don't wash them very often. And I only use about like a dime or quarter sized amount, just uh, depending on which one I use. The conditioner did come a little overflowed, so a little bit of it spilled out. But, that's okay. That means I got a lot of product. So, the next kind of step for this is, it is January 21st right now, I am going to kind of use these for about a month and see how I feel like my hair is. Hello, I am sitting in front of my window because it is nice as heck outside and it's been freezing cold here in Indiana for weeks. So it is 54 degrees, I have my window open, sorry if you can hear street noises. But it has been about a month since I started using that Strands um, hair care on my hair and I wanted to give you guys kind of some of my thoughts on it um, just so you guys can really see how I feel about the company and their products. So obviously you guys saw I really really liked 
kind of the way that they went about getting your hair sample and creating the shampoo for you. It feels much more customizable than the companies that just have like a little questionnaire about what your hair is like. Um, just because I feel like there's a lot more that goes into it and they actually can really like edit it to your hair specifically. I will say that it has, like I said, it's been a month, but I'm still kind of getting used to it. I haven't used any other shampoo on my hair except for the Strands Hair Care Shampoo for the past month. And I think, honestly, it's done a very, very good job. I do still suffer from a little bit of dandruff, um, but I do think it's gotten a little bit better. Um, I definitely don't see it as prevalent and as often. So I do think that it has helped me with that issue, which was really my main issue that I had. Like I said, my hair is still kind of getting used to the shampoo, so sometimes it does get a little oilier quicker than it did on my old shampoo just because before I switched to strands, I hadn't switched my shampoo in about probably probably six months. So my hair had gotten really used to that last shampoo and now it's just still trying to get used to it a little bit. So sometimes it feels a little filmy or a little greasy um, quicker than it did on my previous shampoo, but that's just because I'm getting used to it Take that you know with what you will, but I just my hair takes a little while to get used to new products But overall I do really really like it I think it's not really messed with my blonde because right here at the end this is dyed um, And I think it's kept it a really pretty blonde color. It hasn't like doled it down um, It's actually helped it. I think keep it blonde because I did mark in my thing that I had bleached hair um, it is definitely making it softer, I feel like. It's definitely easier to comb out, especially the first day or two after I wash my hair. And I think my split ends have definitely gotten better. I literally, I used to be able to just like pull up the ends of my hair and look at it and I could see like split ends, like tons of split ends. And now like maybe I'll see one or so, but I don't see breakage nearly as often I feel like. Overall, as far as ranking of the product, I would probably give strands about in, I'm gonna say eight and a half out of 10. Um, I'm just doing this because I don't feel like I can give them a full 10 out of 10 just because my hair is still getting used to their product. But overall, I really, really like the way that they go about getting this and customizing your hair care to you specifically really like that process really like the way that it has helped my hair so far but i do think that there are some things that it could work on that maybe it will in the future but as of right now i haven't seen too much improvement like the dandruff um just a little bit of improvement so eight and a half out of ten overall very good brand and would highly recommend i also believe they just reduced their prices if you do like subscribe to the bottles. I have a subscription for every three months. They did reduce those prices recently, so if you were thinking about it, now is a perfect time to go do it and try it. I highly, highly recommend it. But that is really all for this week's video. I hope you guys liked it. With the weather getting nice, hopefully I can do much more outside videos. I also think I'm going to return back, sort of like doing my vlogs. Vlogs were like one of the main reasons I wanted to start this channel in the first place and like one of the things I have the most fun with. So I'm probably going to revert back to that a little bit more often than I have been, especially, like I said, with it getting nicer out. But again, that is all for this week's video. If you guys did like it, make sure to click the like button down below. Comment what are your favorite hair care brands or hair products. I do respond to every single comment or DM. If you wanna DM me on any of my social medias that are linked in the description down below. But that is it for this week. I will see you guys next week for the first week of March.